we are live and talking about the Virtual Stylist Toolkit, the toolkit that I launched just yesterday, and it is flying off the shelf, people. It is flying off the shelf. So I am doing a little Q&A right now. Um, some people submitted questions. If you have questions, you can put them in the comments. Uh, answering any and all questions about the Virtual Stylist Toolkit. So let's jump into the ones that were already pre-submitted. Um, first question is, sorry, looking up at my computer screen. Uh, will this help me organize my timing in virtual sessions? Often I feel like I'm rushing. Okay, and excuse my voice. I've been sick for the past like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, today's Wednesday, today's Thursday. I'm just starting to feel human again, but I still sound a little nasally. Okay, so let's talk about what this program is and what this program isn't, okay? So the Virtual Styling, Virtual Stylist Toolkit is a lookbook template and trainings to support that template and your, um, your skills in terms of being a virtual stylist. So what this is not, is this is not teaching you how to become a virtual stylist. If you want to learn how to become a stylist, how to monetize your business, how to make money, you need to be inside of Style Boss Academy. Inside of module five for SBA, I teach you how to create your offers. And all of those skills apply whether you're building an offer for in-person or building an offer for virtual. I tell all of my students that you've got to master, and I even say it in the Virtual Stylist Toolkit program, master in-person first, and then you're taking what works for you, your ICA, that's your ideal customer avatar, your demographic, all the things, and then you're gonna adapt that into being something virtual, okay? So that's gonna be unique to your business, it's going to be unique to you, all of those things. What the Virtual Stylist Toolkit is really focusing on is the client delivery aspect of being a virtual stylist, which for me was the most time consuming part. So like going back to the question about timing, it's not gonna help you, whatever you do with your clients, consultation, if you do virtual closet cleanses, whatever that timing is, that's your business. We talk about that in SBA, but the Virtual Stylist Toolkit is the timing on the delivery aspect to the client. So I deliver my clients a beautiful lookbook when they are a virtual client of mine because I'm not handing them clothes in person. They're not coming to me and trying things on. So one of my students who bought the toolkit yesterday, she was laughing because in the first module, I talk about how I see stylists sending these like raw dog links to their clients. Like here's an email with some links, ghetto. Even some of the virtual styling platforms, which by the way, they work beautifully with the template and all of the founders of the big ones, they know about the template. And in fact, they're in the program too. That module is unlocking soon. But one of my beefs with those platforms is I don't think the client delivery is giving full on luxury. Now those platforms are amazing and I teach you how to integrate those platforms into creating this beautiful lookbook that will be branded for your business. Um, they work beautifully for making you more efficient at getting all of the looks together, getting all the assets together to deliver to the client. What's lacking is like, it don't look good. So the stylist that I train, I mean, it looks fine. It looks fine, okay? It don't look bad, it looks fine. But the stylists that I train, I train stylists that are best in the world stylists. Stylists that charge premium prices, they're luxury stylists. You ain't sending some link in an email. You ain't sending some link to a virtual styling thing. Like I want my clients to get something beautiful, memorable, that they keep, that they'll share, that will be a valuable resource to them. So in this training, you're getting the template, 
Okay, you're gonna see my finished product. I walk you through it. You're also getting a bare bones empty template in Canva where I'm showing you, like I'm on the screen showing you how to make your own branded for your business. And in the program, we talk about the assets you need to brand. We talk about the importance of brand. We talk about client delivery. So it's gonna help you do the delivery aspect faster and more efficiently because as I was saying, <laughs> I've, been, I've been sick, okay? So I don't know if my brain's functioning properly, so just try to keep up. Um, but it would take me such a long time to put everything together because I was like on 80 million websites and I was pulling links and I was trying to organize them and I was like, wait, what goes with what? It took so long. So I'm teaching you multiple methods for putting together looks for your clients efficiently, building the template or building the lookbook efficiently. Once you customize the template and go through what I teach you, that will be the part that takes the longest, but you only have to do that part once. Putting in your brand colors, putting in your logos, putting in your fonts. After that setup, take take hour or so, take a few hours, cranking these beautiful lookbooks, gorge, okay? So my students, my mastermind students who like I interact with the most, they were telling me like how long their looks look, lookbooks were taking they were doing them with no template, with no guidance of a graphic designer, with no rules, regulations, just them on Canva, painstakingly dragging and dropping things. And quite frankly, a lot of their lookbooks, they don't look that good, okay? So I'm like, how can I help cut time for you and guarantee that it's going to look really good? So I had a designer build out the template. So it's like super idiot proof. Um, all the structures there, like the font weight, like all of those things that can make something look really off in a design, that part's taken care of. You're just gonna have to drag and drop and change some colors and like you are good to go. So it's gonna help you save time because I am gonna teach you how to be more efficient, um, but this is in the client delivery aspect. I just wanna make that clear. Okay, next question is, I'm using Hue and Stripe. How will this work with that platform? Okay, so I never, ever, ever, ever create a product, a service for my business without painstakingly testing it okay, on myself. Like when I started personal styling, I made myself over first. When I built an online course, teaching people how to dress. Like I tried the methods first. I tried them on clients. I always test things before I roll them out. So for this particular product, not only have I been hearing from personal stylists for years and years and years, but I did a focus group with 76 of my style bosses who are virtual stylists as well, showed them this product. And they were like, hell yes. I also showed it to the founders of some of the big virtual styling platforms and was like, this is what I'm working on. I'm not trying to put you out of business. I'm not trying to compete with you. Let's like work together here. So they're gonna be in the program and they're going to be showing you how their tools can help you build great looks and shopping, you know, shoppable links, all the things for your clients. And then those just drag and drop right into the template. So I built the template for the training, like my version of it. I use ShopShare to build it, okay? Um, I talked with Craig from Hue and Stripe. Hue and Stripe is awesome because it integrates Canva right in there. And guess what this template's made in? Canva. So all of these founders, ShopShare, Glamhive, Hue and Stripe, I got the other two on the on deck on the list <laughs> to get on board with this too. They know about this. They love it. They think it's dope. And they come in on the Virtual Stylist Toolkit to show you how to use their platform. And I'm also interviewing them to talk about like the origin story of their business, like what makes their stylist successful. Like it's just one big happy freaking family. So if you're using Hue and Stripe, especially 
you're gonna love the toolkit because Hue and Stripe literally already kicks out into Canva. You can have your virtual stylist toolkit template just sitting there on Canva waiting for your Hue and Stripe looks to like bloop, 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 right over, drag them into the template, export, send a client. Like freaking amazing, amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, next question. I only have 10 minutes because I have a um, 911 call with a mastermind student. Um, yes, Shanice is in the comments that I feel like I can use this for my organization business. Totally. Any, anytime you're like delivering something, I'm going to give you guys a quick little show and tell, not all the pages because, you know, that's what the program's for. Um, but I'll give you a quick little show and tell. So uh, how does this differ from SBA The Next Level? So people who are Style Boss Academy grads who signed up for SBA The Next Level, you know that one of our 12 trainings is about virtual styling. So that is a two hour training about virtual styling. That is more strategy for the business. We don't just talk about lookbooks. We talk about the actual service. We talk about online courses, like all, all of those things. So this is very different from SB The Next Level. So in the virtual stylist toolkit, in the first module, you're just gonna meet me if we've never met before, learn what you're gonna you know, find in the program, I'm gonna give you a quick intro to some of my other programs. Um, yeah, Hue and Stripe. Um, in the second video, we talk about like why you should use a branded, um, use branded assets in your business. I go into whole coaching Lauren rants about brand, um, how it's helped grow my business, the trajectory of being a virtual stylist, how you can diversify. Um, I walk you through this whole thing. And so by the way, this is like way more than just a lookbook, okay? And I, speaking of testing, I also ran this through some of my past clients and was like, what else would you want in here? So I've added things to this, where's my table of contents at? I added things to this that I had never had before when I was virtual styling and it's freaking awesome. Like. This table of contents doesn't even cover everything that's in the toolkit. So it's like much more than just looks, which I think is gonna help you think deeper about what you're offering your clients in your business. Um, module two, we talk about setting up uh, your brand kit, colors, background photos, fonts, all the things that you're gonna need to make this thing really pop and look great for your own business. I teach you how to gather the assets for the lookbook, um, a little, a little bit about consulting with a client, that full lesson is in SBA. Talk about building Pinterest boards with your client, talk about building mood boards, talk about gathering outfit inspiration. Um, we talk about actually how to style the looks. So from a technical perspective, there's two different methods that I use to style virtual looks. One I call an outfit scavenger hunt, the other I call a virtual pull. So I'm gonna show you how to do those. I give you some tips for success for being a virtual stylist. I teach you how to build collages, both directly in Canva and using a um, virtual styling platform. Module three is gonna start dripping out next week, in fact, where we're gonna meet some of those founders, interview them, see their platforms. Module four is going to come later this summer, and that's gonna be virtual styling best practices. We're gonna talk about virtual versus in-person. We're going to talk about the psychology and client communication required. So like it's a pretty robust program. Originally, it was just supposed to be the templates. And quite frankly, the price tag is appropriate for just getting a template. My graphic designer, when she would make these lookbooks for me, when I just send the pictures, the links, it would cost 350 bucks per template. Okay. To get a designer to design the template, that also cost me a lot of money, but now you'll never have to pay a graphic designer again when it comes to lookbooks. So the cost alone is like worth just the fucking template, but of course, you know, I can't leave, I can't leave anything alone. I gotta teach y'all stuff. So there's a lot of good shit uh, in the trainings and more to come. I'm offering this at a beta price and with a discount, um, but the price is going to go up to 497 because 
This is beta, which means I'm gonna be reshooting videos, I'm gonna be adding more content. This, you guys are just getting like baby versions, so you're getting it at a really good price, but you're getting all the upgrades that are coming later, okay? Uh, love this, says this is what I've been waiting for. Most of my clients are virtual. Another question that I got in the DMs, and I gotta move fast because I have a client. Um, will this help me with virtual closet cleanses? No. This is again about client delivery. Client delivery is what you hand the client when you are finished doing whatever magic you want to do. Now, the very structure of the lookbook will give you business ideas for how to structure your virtual op offer just by pure inspiration. It's like if you get to look at how someone who's doing something the best is doing things, just by looking at it, you're going to be like, that gave me an idea I didn't have. Cool. So virtual closet cleanses, again, SBA, we talk about how to build your services. SBA, the next level, that's for SBA grads only. Um, we have a whole lesson about closet cleanses, a whole like two hour workshop about closet cleanses. And yes, we talk about doing them virtually and all that jazz. So that is again, a different program. This is a lower ticket offer. <laughs> so you're getting a lookbook and you're getting a couple of kick-ass trainings to go with. Uh, final question is, will this help me with pricing my virtual offer? No. Okay, how do we get the intro offer and sign up? Um, DM me the word virtual um, and I'll send you the link or just click through my stories and it's linked um, in my Instagram stories with the coupon code already applied. If for some reason the code is not applied, just put virtual boss in checkout and we'll give you that extra hundred dollars off. Okay. This will not help you price your virtual offer. Um, that is what style boss Academy is for. So if you guys thought, Oh my gosh, I'm going to learn how to like completely run a virtual styling business for $197 from Lauren Messiah. Who's the freaking boss of the boss. When it comes to teaching stylists, you are tripping and high. <laughs> So, um, so anything about building your business, pricing your offer, selling your offer, marketing your offer, that is Style Boss Academy. This is client delivery. This is creating beautiful lookbooks. This is getting some like great little extra skills. Like one of my um, best students, my one of my best bosses, she gave a great she messaged me immediately. She was like the second or third person to buy yesterday. So many people bought yesterday. Thank you. I'm so grateful. So many people bought today. I'm so grateful. Um, but she said this. She goes, I just bought the virtual stylist toolkit. It was like a no brainer. Just to see if I could do my client's lookbook any better is worth the investment. I have yet to uh, go through the materials, but I'm so excited to have this extra resource. Thank you for sharing all of your knowledge. And I was like, okay, not everyone who's listening is gonna like understand that. You're gonna be like, Lauren, shut up. But hear me out, okay? That mindset is what separates the people at the top of their game to the people who are just like trying to claw their way up. It's like this, particular style boss is fucking crushing it, okay? So she's like, me spending $197. She's already, she's already doing lookbooks in her business. She has lookbooks. I'm sure they look fantastic because she has a very strong brand. But she's like, I will pay $197 even if I get one idea to make my stuff that much better. And I'm like, I just so appreciate that mindset because that's the mindset that I operate in in my business where it's like, okay, I'm gonna go to this conference. I have no idea if it's gonna be good. I have no fucking clue, it's expensive. But I'm like, if I learn one thing, one thing or meet one person or have one aha moment, I know that that can change my entire freaking business forever and ever and ever and make me so much money further down the line. So start operating in that mindset of like, if there's one thing, like if there's one page, you know, in this book, like even, you know, me talking, you guys know, 
I've been very hesitant if you're a student of mine to fully recommend like a virtual styling platform. Everyone's like, which one do you recommend? So I'm vetting them. I'm seeing if I'll get behind them. I'm super old school. I don't like to be dependent on an outside technology to run my whole entire business. But I was like, let me have an open mind, you know, have meetings with these people, multiple meetings with these founders. And it's like, okay, there was one thing or there was two things or there was this thing. And it's like, worth it, worth it, worth it. It's like, cool, I'm gonna pay for this. Ooh, if I take this course, I learned one thing that could change my whole entire business, make my clients happier, make word of mouth marketing spread, worth it. Okay, I have got to jump because I have a student waiting for me. Um, but if you're interested in joining, DM me the word virtual, I'll send you the link or tap through my stories and you'll see the link there. Um, the $100 off uh, ends tomorrow, it ends tomorrow. So hurry up because once that coupon code expires, don't come crying to me because <laughs> the price will go up. And don't go crying to me after Tuesday when the price goes all the way up to $4.97. So hope to see you inside the toolkit. Hope it changes your business for the better. And I'll holla at y'all later.